Say, did you ever notice that uh, flip through a magazine or a book so often the great majority of the pictures have people in them? So keep that in mind when you want to be published in the book and magazine industry. How do you get people, especially strangers, to be in your pictures? Is there some technique to use? I've often been asked that question. The magic formula for a marketable picture includes that keyword, person. You remember a picture equals background plus person plus symbol plus involvement. I've watched people photographers over the years and they all use a combination of maneuvers to win the cooperation of strangers for their photos. Through good times and bad economic downturns, people believe it or not, are eager to have their pictures taken if it's handled in the right way. The main tactic they use is this one. They hang an extra camera around their neck when they're photographing in public. Here's how it works. Since you're photographing for the purpose of publishing your pictures, you have the license to appear as a member of the press, which in effect you are. Most people in public, they profess they don't want to be photographed. Yet, at a parade, or concert, or a game, or a rally, have you ever seen a person turn away from the camera? We may be bordering on uh, psychology of the masses here. Despite cultural differences, it's almost a universal trait for people to want to be photographed, especially by someone who looks like they're from the press. On the one hand, people don't want to appear to be vain. But, uh, on the other hand, getting photographed by a professional according to the artist Andy Warhol, allows them 15 minutes of fame. It's a sort of validation that has allowed websites like MySpace and Facebook and Twitter and Skidoo to skyrocket to the top as, as a popular site on the Internet. Beginning photographers often hesitate. They don't want to go out and go through that awkwardness of inviting strangers into their composition. Shyness, introversion, timidity, they're all natural roadblocks to overcome by the photographer who wants to fulfill the magic formula for a successful stock photo. If you take the easy route and shoot your picture without doing the work of enticing a passerby to be part of the composition, it's going to be less marketable. Here are three things you can do to get strangers to be in your picture. Well, you put the two cameras around your neck, or you shoot with one and have one around your neck, or if you can get two cameras, put those there too. Number two, put a name tag on. Put it on your lapel. Check with the internet where you can buy one of those. They're usually about two inches long and they fasten on your lapel. They're black. You usually have white lettering. You have your name up there and then below that, the name of your business. If you don't have a name of the business, just call it something like Photo Data Bank. No one's going to care. And now here are four short sentences you can say. And of course, smile while you're saying them to, uh, to your prospective model. My name is, and then fill in your name. For example, my name is Ron Eng. Uh, please don't use my name. And then the second sentence, I'm a stock photographer. My pictures appear in books and magazines and newspapers, and I'm adding to my collection. And then you hesitate for a second. Would you like to be in my picture? So I'll say that again. My name is John Jones. I'm a stock photographer. My pictures appear in books and magazines and I'm adding to my collection. Would you like to be in my picture? Remember the key is the extra camera that's dangling from your neck. If you don't believe this system works like magic, try shooting in public without with just uh, the camera that you're shooting with and you don't have uh, an extra camera, well, borrow one or rent one or buy a damaged uh, out-of-date camera from a cram camera store or go to Craigslist or want, want to add. I once bought uh, two broken cameras from a neighbor that had fallen out of a small airplane. As for model releases, you'll be happy to learn they're, they're not really required in 90% of the cases, I should say 99% of the cases, when you're working for books and magazines and newspapers. You'll 
hardly ever hear one of the photo editors on our photo daily or our photo letter ask for a model release. They're always needed for endorsements and advertising commercial type of pictures, of course. But for editorial stock, nope, they're not needed. But uh, more information on that subject can be found in the Photosource forum called the Cracker Barrel. You'll find that at www.photosource.com slash board, P-O-A-R-D. So now you know the techniques the pros use to get strangers to be in their pictures. Well, there you have it. Very simple techniques in attracting people. I know you're an introvert. You don't like to photograph people. But once you see the difference between the pictures you've been taking and the ones that include people, you're going to be very happy. And the photo buyer is going to be very happy. And your accountant's going to be very happy. So work hard at getting people into your pictures. That uh, They can be your neighbors. They can be friends or models that you actually pay or you barter with for portraits and things like that. But be sure to get people in your pictures.